Richard Edster, can you remember when and why you joined the Royal Navy? Yes, I, I joined the Navy in uh, 1943 because all my mates were going in and I wanted to go in the Navy, so I volunteered. And uh, if I didn't volunteer, I probably got in, they probably put me in the army. So I joined the Navy and I joined in uh, chief, uh, December the 6th, 1943. I went down to Collingwood to do my training, 10 weeks in training. And then after 10 weeks, we went into barracks. And after barracks, I was in, for a month I was in barracks. We was on the um, uh, uh, Portsmouth towing uh, pontoon bridges ready for Normandy, 1944. But uh, I didn't go to 1944 to Normandy because um, I went after, we went after the Tirpitz in Norway. But I joined my ship in Belfast, it was a carrier. And uh, we were stopped in Belfast for six weeks. Then after six weeks, we came out, done trials, and went uh, after the turpits. We went after it twice, uh, but we couldn't do any damage to her. So we let the RVF have it. Can you explain to people what the Tirpitz is? Uh, it was a battleship, German battleship in Norway Bay, it was. So well in that uh, our torpedoes couldn't, uh, planes couldn't get there. They, they, they let them go, but uh, they couldn't do much damage. So what were your duties on, on board? What I type was of a seaman, you... seaman, but... I had to go on the big guns, 4.5 guns, when in action station. After, before then, we used to have to push um, aircraft about, do the chocks, that's to keep them from going. And sometimes I got to push right on the stern where three planes were, where their tail planes went on to a bit of metal like. And uh, we, we had about 40 aircraft revving up. And when you was on the back of the stern light, I said back, but I should have said stern. <laughs> um, it, it's very windy because we never had protection gear like they got now. We had just cloth caps over our heads, but uh, we used to have to run up the, get halfway up the flight deck and take the chocks away and they take off. We had two planes were catapulted off and uh, we had uh, barracudas. There was wings that goes out with a, just a pin about well, about a foot long. And uh, if you didn't get them in right, the wings used to pull up. Then we had Corsairs who opened up the other way. But uh, that was there. So um, we came back from the, after the Tirpitz, had leave, then we went out, going out to the Pacific but we stopped at Gibraltar to add the, the kill scraped because they had barnacles and all that on there. We came out and done trials and the centre wheel went. So we had to go back into dry dock and uh, wait for the centre cog wheel to come out. We had to repair it ourselves because the Spaniards who used to come across to Gibraltar was on strike. So, and I had a good job there. I was sweeping up rivets from the the plates, what they, uh, the blacksmith knocked out. 
from there we had six weeks in Gibraltar and uh, from there we went to Alex, Alexandra. We had two days there in in uh, at the harbour. I was on boats crew that time, so I had a good job. Then we went through the Pacific. and went through the Suez Canal to Aden. We had one night there. Then we came out of there. Went to Ceylon. Now it's called. It was India, really, but it's Ceylon now. And uh, we had two nights there. And then we went from there to Fremantle. That's in Australia. We had two nights in, Aus in uh, uh, Fremantle. And then we went to Sydney. That's where our base was, in Sydney Harbour. And we had uh, a month there. And then we went out the Pacific doing all sorts of duties out there. We had uh, about uh, just before um, Germany packed up, two days before, a kamikaze landed on board us. I've got a book you can have a look at later on. And uh, So it's two days before VE Day. Yeah. A Japanese kamikaze yeah. pilot yeah. attacks your ship. It, it came in and came by the the island and uh, it knocked a, a, a pom-pom gun out and killed a petty officer. The, other, the crew was outside, so they was lucky. And uh, we got we got over that. We, repaired the, the flight deck. So, so this must ask, what was the name of your ship? Formidable, sorry. <laughs> sorry. HMS Formidable. Yeah. It's all, all about in my book, so <laughs> <laughs> it may not be interest to you, but... It's of great it, interest to, to and, me and everybody uh, in Harbour. Um, and uh, so we got over that t and when two days after the 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 day we we just had a tot of rum and celebrated that at sea we won in the harbour so can you visualise that day VE day you having that tot of rum can you still see yourself yeah having a drink yes <laughs> yes because we uh, the mess set cook goes up and gets the the rum for twelve o'clock but. Uh, Two days afterwards, uh, a Jap another Japanese landed on us, and that done a lot of damage. But we uh, repaired it ourselves. We got blacksmiths and that half tisipers on board, and uh, they repaired the flight deck and right down to the engine room. And then. Um, now I've got to think a lot because it... Well, that's all right. It's a long... It's been brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Were you aware, hold on, Germany had been defeated? Were you still thinking, the Japanese? Yeah. They're not, they're not giving up, are they? No, no, no. So right up to uh, end of August, we were still fighting. Uh, Okinawa and Shakushima. And uh, our planes were... Go, uh, going over to Japan, but uh, and then the uh, uh, VEJ uh, came, and uh, we still at sea. We were in harbour, we couldn't celebrate properly. Couldn't have a good uh, drink like so. Uh, that, but we didn't. I didn't see the actual signing of it. Because we were, after uh, Japan gave up, we um, was uh, trooping, uh, like taking prisoners of war back to their own country, like Bombay and back to Sydney and all that. And the uh, time we, we finished that, it was uh, 
1946. We got back to UK in 1946. We had leave and then we went back to Sydney again and brought a, a, a load of wrens back. And we got back again in England, 47. And uh, I left the ship, formidable, uh, in uh, March and went up to a, a place called Portrush Creek fire watching. I had a living ship and then another fire watch on two, two other ships who was not in operation. And uh, July, I went home and leave because I was demobbed in. And in August, I finished my time in the, in the Navy. And I went back to the old job as a butcher in Sainsbury's. <laughs> But you've never, you've never forgotten your time in the Royal Navy, no. and every year we oh, see yeah. you in Harlow oh, yeah. at all the ceremonies. Oh, yeah. You're very proud. Yeah, V Day and V Day, we celebrate in Sydney after the war, and I've got photos of it in my book. I'll keep on saying my book because. <laughs> but but I mean in Harlow it, when we have uh, remembrance services yeah, yeah. you're you're there aren't you it's important um, when you can right uh, right yes three years ago I started going down to the memorial uh, otherwise I used to go up to the White Hall and mm. I was up there it, is it important to remember yes oh yes it's very much all the people we lost on on my ship. I like to go back to Japan and see the monument there, but uh, I've not had thoughts enough to get there yet, and I don't think I will because it, their health might stop me from going. I'd make it, but I wouldn't. And uh, on, fri on Friday, I went on, on the Queen Elizabeth. I got a tally outside and a broke what they gave us on board. They couldn't do enough for us on board this carrier. It was a massive carrier. But uh, I enjoyed myself that day. Does it feel, can you believe that in a couple of months' time it will be 75 years since yeah. VE Day? Can you, it's a long time ago, isn't it, Richard? It is, yes, yes. But uh, that's. That's 74 years old, that book. Well, just on behalf of everybody here in Harlow, just like to say yeah. thank you very much for all your service.